I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is nine things in December. Now I also did nine things about the holidays that's on my playlist. But this is for nine things in December and the first thing we're going to do is draw our tic-tac-toe graph. So it's two straight lines and two straight lines crossing. Over here in this first part, we're going to draw the letter U. Come over to the left, put a curved line over the top. We're going to put a straight diagonal on the left, straight diagonal on the right, little curve line over, connect, little curve line on top. Come right here in the center almost, we're just going to put a curve line, curve line, connect, little straight line, curve line, curve line, connect. Inside, put one dot, two dots. Here in the center, we're just going to put a little curve line, and then we're just going to draw a straight line with a little curve line underneath. Come on the right hand side, draw a curve line out, and connect. Jump over, left hand side, curve line out, and connect. Come inside the space and just draw a wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right, wavy line on the right again, wavy line on the left. Come down below, we're just going to draw a little curved line on the left, little curved line on the right, little curved line across, and connect. Come right over here on the left, we draw a straight line down, straight line over, jump over, straight line, straight line down. Come back to the left, put a little straight diagonal, little baby line, jump over, straight, di uh, straight line, little straight diagonal, straight line down. This is the word no with an exclamation point because December 1st is Rosa Parks Day, and this is when, in 1955, she would not give up her seat in the bus for a white man and was arrested. Civil rights, okay? Now come over here on this box, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect, curve line in, out, connect. We're just going to draw one, two little straight lines and a baby circle. We're going to come above and draw a curve line, curve line, and then we're going to draw one, two, one, two, one, two straight lines. You can put little flat ovals on the top. Come over on this side, draw a straight line, straight line, flat oval, straight line, straight line, flat oval. And this is the first successful, successful heart transplant. I'm just going to put heart trans, this is all one word but I don't have room, heart transplant in 1967. They had tried before to transplant hearts and it didn't work. But in 1967, this one did. And that is over here now. On this third box, we're just going to draw a flat oval and a flat oval inside. Come on the bottom, draw a straight diagonal down. Come on the top, straight diagonal down, connect. Right about here, put a dot. We're going to draw a straight line over, straight line down. Come back to the dot, straight line down, straight line over. Right here we're just going to draw a little skinny rectangle. Right here in the middle we draw two straight lines and a little straight line connect. Little straight line, straight line down, out, 
straight line up, connect, come back to the top, straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, straight line down, and connect. This, now let's put some little animation lines, straight lines. This is the first phonograph. Just think of the difference between this and some earbuds. And this was in 1877. First phonograph. Okay. Now come over here. We're going to draw the letter U. Put a curve line at the top. Curve line out and connect. Curve line out and connect. In the center, straight diagonal curve. Dot, dot. Come right over here on the left and we're just going to put a little straight line and a wavy line down. Wavy line over. Connect. Come down below. Straight line. Curve line. Straight line up. Connect. Right here we're just going to go curve line out. In. Curve line out. In. Curve line down on the left. Curve line down on the right. Straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, straight line, one, two, straight lines, dot, dot. Who is this? It's Walt Disney. Walt Disney. And since today is his birthday, we're just going to draw a curve line up, straight line, straight line, little animation lines and his birthday is 1901 and who is Walt Disney come over here and just put a circle of black and then a circle on the left uh, on the right circle on the left it's Mickey Mouse Walt Disney's birthday okay all right next one right here we're just gonna draw Straight line, straight line, straight line. Connect. Two straight lines at the bottom and leave them floating. Inside, we're going to write South Pole. Okay? Down at the bottom, it was discovered in 1911. It took that long to get explorers down there. Now we draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Curve line, curve line. And in the background, we're just going to put straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. Okay, those are glaciers. So the South Pole was discovered in 1911. Okay, come over to this box. We're just going to draw the letter U. Curve line. Curve line out in connect. And we're just going to draw a wavy line out. Come up to the top. Wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line. Okay? Come inside, wavy line. Because he had crazy hair. Alright. Let's put a dot, dot. Straight diagonal curve. Straight line. Straight line, curve line, straight line up, connect. But curve lines inside. He had a high neck shirt on. And this is his birthday, so let's draw our little candle. Straight line, straight line. And this is Beethoven. Some of you might not know, he's the one that did the sound, uh, the music, da 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 da, da 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 da, in 1770. Big composer. So I'm going to put two straight line, straight line. Straight line on top. These are music notes. Come down to this side. Straight line, straight line, straight line, dot, dot, straight line. Beethoven's birthday. Okay. Now, come over here, and this one's a little bit strange because it's kind of hard to draw for me even. I'm going to start off with a straight, little straight diagonal, straight line across, little straight diagonal, and connect. Okay, straight line. Then you go one, two, three little straight lines and go one, two, three little straight lines. Because now we got to draw this again. So I'm going to start off with a straight line, 
but I'm going to put a straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal. Okay. In the middle, we're going to draw a straight line, jump over, straight line, come back down, straight line, jump over, straight line. And right here, we're just going to draw a little skinny rectangle and add two straight lines. Come down to the below, and we're just going to draw another skinny rectangle up and connect. Now, if any of these little straight lines are not connected, go ahead and connect them. And we're just going to draw a straight line, jump over, straight line. Okay, in 1903, this was the Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers' first flight in an airplane. Doesn't look much like our kinds of airplanes, but this is where it started. First flight. Okay. Next, we're going to draw a straight line across, straight line down. Come back to the middle, straight line across, straight line down. Straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, connect. Little straight line, little straight line. Little straight line, little straight line, little straight line. Inside, we're going to write donut. Donut. Okay. Now, right where the N is, we're going to add a little box and put a K. Little box, put an O. And little box, put a B. This is the first crossword, first crossword puzzle. And that was in 1913, when people read newspapers and didn't have devices to make, uh, to play games like Candy Crush. Okay. Next box. Big curve line off. Come right about here. Straight line, straight line. Rectangle. Little square. Straight line, straight line. Little flat ovals. Up here, put Apollo 8. And this was the moon landing in 1968. A lot going on in December. Okay, let's see how we're going to color these in. Okay, for Rosa Parks, first I'm going to color in her hair black. So that's this part. And then I'm going to take my light green and I'm going to color in her outfit. This is her hat. She was always very nicely dressed. And just a little bit of green on this part. That's her suit top. And with brown, lightly color in her face, her neck, and her ears. Now don't color so dark you can't see her face anymore. Okay? So that's Rosa Parks Day. Next one. This is kind of a drawing of a heart. You get the idea. So I'm going to use red for the main section. And then I'm going to use red violet for all of these veins and tubes and all of the above. Okay. And I'm going to color in red my little heart for my transplant. Big deal. Big deal. Next, if you have gray, we're going to color in the horn part of our phonograph. This also was a big deal. People could enjoy music anywhere they could bring their phonograph. We're going to use yellow for brass. That's a kind of metal. So we're going to color this in brass. Take your black, color the inside part of the horn. And your brown. It was in a brown casing, wooden casing. This was also a major invention for the time. 
1877. Wow. Okay, next. Walt Disney, hello. So let's give him some gray hair. He had silver gray. Here's his mustache. Okay. Birthday candles. I'm going to make yellow. And if you have multicultural crayons, I think I made him peach or apricot. If not, you can leave him white or use your brown lightly. We gave him a red tie. Big deal. 1901. Big deal. Next, South Pole. These are my glaciers. So I'm just going to use blue, regular blue, and I'm just going to go over, do my lines because it's snow. It should be snow. If you want, you can add some brown for his, for the sign. Next, Beethoven. I think it's Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. He was amazing. At the very end, before he died, he couldn't hear anymore. He was deaf, and he still wrote music. So I'm going to use my gray. He's kind of, kind of crazy hair. Here's his birthday candle. Okay. Come down to the right, brothers. I'm going to make this part gray. These almost look like gliders, but they weren't. They were machines. And right on this section is where somebody would stand or lay. Think of this as the beginning of the air transportation. Next is the crossword puzzle. I put this in because I thought it was interesting that we don't read a lot of newspapers anymore. And yet we still play puzzles. Okay. Apollo 8 moon landing. Just put some brown. Even though I know the moon is supposed to be. A little bit of gray. A little bit of yellow. And then you might want to do your flag. Just put some blue in here so you know, and some red stripes. You know it's the American flag. Okay. And maybe a little bit of brown. All right. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my nine things happening in December. You know, I forgot to add my clouds and my birds on the Wright Brothers' first flight. So maybe you can add those on your own. Okay, bye-bye.